simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a red burgundy here from the fabulous, um, well for reds at least, 2015 vintage. Uh, maybe a little bit too hot for some of the whites, although there are, I've said I've tasted some great ones, uh, but it was a really good vintage for reds. Um, so it's Louis Latour Marcinet, and um, Marcinet is the most northerly bit of the uh, of the Cote d'Or. Actually, I'm not sure, quite sure whether it is the most northerly bit of the Cote d'Or, or whether we will be referring it to uh, to it as that in the future, because uh, it's, it's a little bit south of the uh, the uh, town city of Dijon. Uh, I don't know, no, 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 whether Dijon is a city or a town, but um, uh, but I'm I'm seeing quite a few, well, not a few people, but uh, a handful of people uh, starting to uh, uh, plant vineyards in and around the town of Dijon. Uh, but anyway, well, this is Martinet, step further, further south, and uh, I believe it's unoaked, um, which is, uh, I mean, it, I, I wouldn't say red burgundy it was a massively oaky wine, but a lot of the wines would uh, would spend some time in cask just to uh, soften out old casks that uh, don't give a woody elef uh, elephant element, um, but um, which uh, which succeed in softening the wine. So let's see what it's like in its um, uh, elevage free. No, elevage free in its uh, unsoftened. No, I'm, I'm I'm waffling here. I better just sniff it, haven't I? And uh, come back to you in a moment. Well, it smells juicy and fresh and vibrant. Plums, uh, a little bit of raspberry, some rose hip, slightly floral character. And in its unoaked state, uh, all that juicy exuberant fruit is getting a chance to uh, make its presence felt, and it smells good. So it's got those those um, those flavours that I was smelling the the raspberry, but it's going in that raspberry confit, slightly cooked raspberries, um, some of those um, Victoria plum, this rosehip character, and then there's a soft, um, almost it's weird. I, I mean, I know it's it, it, I'm saying it's unoaked, but there's a vanilla-like character that there. there is this warm, soft, puddingy, fleshy type of uh, character to the fruit. Uh, which is a characteristic I, I find in quite a lot of uh, Louis Latour reds, and it's almost like a house style. Um, and um, so it's good. I almost want it to be, uh, I, I, it's 2015 vintage, and uh, we are approaching the time, well, they're picking the 2017s at the moment. Some of them will already have been picked. Um, I almost wanted to see it like in its younger and even crunchier style, because um, uh, there is this bounciness about the aromas, uh, when I come to taste it, maybe um, it's lost a little bit of that youthful vibrancy. And it'd be interesting, I don't know when I'm, I'm getting it, when it's just gone past that dip of um, here I am my youth. And it's a slightly, not awkward and gawky adolescent, but um, I, 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 I'd be very interested to see what it's like in about two or three years time. As it is, um, I just pulled the cork uh, and uh, I think I'm going to enjoy drinking the rest of the bottle. Not me on my own, of course. Uh, but um, yeah, but interesting that they, they, they've chosen not to, to put oak there. And um, why? No idea. But um, I, as I say, I think I'm going to enjoy the bottle. Oak or no? See you soon.